So we're starting with part A1, scope and purpose of financial statements for external reporting. In this part, we are going to look at first the definition of financial reporting and then uh, different requirements for different types of entities such as sole trader and company and partnership. We'll uh, talk about them briefly and also look at the main advantages and disadvantages of each form. And uh, we will also understand the nature, principles and scope of financial reporting. So, let's begin with the first most important thing, the definition. Financial statements. If you try to find financial statements of any well-known company online, most likely you will uh, download from their website something like this, or this, or maybe even this. Your first impression uh, will be, well, it's tons of numbers. And it, you may have a very reasonable question, who may want to read this and why? Well, I can tell you the name of at least one guy who enjoys uh, reading financial statements, Warren Buffett. Among other things, uh, he is known for uh, when being asked how to get smart, he was holding a pile of papers which were financial statements and he said, I read 500 pages of this every day and I recommend you to do so too. So if uh, Warren Buffett can grab his financial wisdom from the financial statements, maybe we also can find there something interesting. And in this course, our purpose is to learn the basics of preparing financial statements. We'll understand uh, the most fundamental things and then uh, in the future papers you will move on to uh, the more complex issues and uh, you will learn to understand more and more complex numbers in the financial statements. The process of preparing financial statements is called financial reporting and it consists of three steps recording, analyzing and summarizing financial data. Financial data may sound a little bit mysterious because there are many things that you can mean by financial data. In this definition, by financial data, we mean the information about all business transactions that may impact the company's financial position or uh, the company's revenue and expenses, and uh, they have to be reflected in the company's books. So uh, the process of preparing financial statements starts with recording all the transactions in uh, special forms and uh, then analyzing them and then processing and summarizing into the required formats. The formats may vary a little bit depending on the type of business entity. For smaller business, there will be fewer requirements. For bigger businesses, it will be a bit more complex with uh, bigger and more complex disclosures to be made. So, uh, let's take a look at the uh, three types of uh, business entities and uh, their advantages and disadvantages and briefly talk about their reporting requirements.